like to say welcome. Hey, it's Vanessa for Team LLC, and we are here at the Color Line Arts and Film Festival. We're at the Fly Store in Chicago's Hyde Park neighborhood, and this is the very first Art and Unique Spaces Showcase presented by Team, the evolution of advanced minds. Please excel and tell us what you want us to know about you and your involvement with the event. Well, like you said, my name is Excel Hardy. I'm CEO of the Evolution of Advanced Minds, and our organization has organized the uh, Color Line Arts and Film Festival. Uh, it's based on a project by one of our artists, Hell Green, so that's why we're here today. But I hope you're prepared for my mind. Take a ride on the Color Line. Remember my name is Emma, like a black old post-it, an old boss chick that go back like boss fits and 80s baby, but lately the ladies baby ain't representing me. As long as we got Nicki Minaj on the screen, that means I got to do damage on the scene. Sweet mahogany microphone fiend, rock them like rock him play, I will rock you too. The first thing you learned in school was how to pledge to a flag. Red, white, and blue was like rights of passage and badge. Give an honor where it's due, so he removing his hat. Put his hand over his heart, spit the lid of his pack. I love music. It's like I got a need for the strings. The only thing I believe in my life that'll keep my heart from growing dark. When I write and I read music every time, I receive chills from my heels to my teeth, and it seems to exceed a greater Jones than that of Jungle Fever. Addicted like a fiend on the street corner, flipping crazy over that white girl, and I want her. Like Gator needed the money from his mom. I like he needed that bullet in his tummy from his father. Ozzy D, the good Reverend Doctor. Okay, so can you tell us how you're affiliated otherwise with today's event? Okay, uh, me and my band, my singers, will be performing Charisma and the Grand Divas. Um, I'm also the director of arts programming for Team LLC um, and the co-creator of Art in Unique Spaces. Um, this is an Art in Unique Spaces event, um, so I was event planning and kind of a triple threat for this event. <laughs> Harold Green's family, like to the okay. to the, like I, I remember Harold when he was <laughs> like that, and um, just being involved in his life and uh, all his endeavors here, like to Black O, his music, um, the color line thing, whatever. He's a very talented brother, and and acting and everything and everything. So it's just like watching the light shine, you know. Hey, Harold, can you tell us a little bit about the color line volume two visual mixtape from your perspective? Uh, you know what, it was just a real innovative thing in my mind. I'm always trying to push myself to new limits as far as my creativity, my artistry, and try to be like new. And like, you know, when people see me, they be like, oh, I ain't never seen that before. So in my mind, I was like, man, I, I've, I've really worked with a lot of artists in different realms. And I was like, man, let me reach out to my directors that I know, and hopefully we can make like 12 short films. That'll be real crazy. And then they let the verdict come in. I got you cringing with every sentence. And see, from my instincts, it got me to this very instance. And they asked me, why am I so intense? I told them, well, if you had a mouth full of ballistics that they couldn't read in ballistics, you would be just like this, too. But I'm nice with the mic. Some people just want me to with it. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your inspiration for the visual mixtape versus the music video? Because I know that you're not in any of the videos. It's right. not just Harold saying what he has to say. Right, right, right. Uh, in my mind, it just made it a little bit more iller. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Your directors, is there like a certain criteria or how? Yeah, like, um, you know what, it was real strict, like, you had to be dope. <laughs> Walk through the door with your safe face, yeah. Terrible fire, 